to show a pop-up after someone clicks some text or an image in your blog or website. Go to Forms and either use pop-ups or embedded forms. And go to a form you've created, click Get Embed Code. And here are all the needed codes or scripts. This should be on each page of your blog. Usually the CMSs we use have a special place to input, input this code so that we have it automatically on each single page or post of our blog or website. In this case, we're going to go to show pop-up on click event. Here we see the same code. Of course, if you're using WordPress and our WordPress integration, you can go see the video for that. You will not need to do this. You'll just put the API key in the settings of your MailerLite plugin and everything will be automatically set for you. Now to create a button pop-up, just use this. This will put a button into your post. And to have text or an image show a pop-up after you click it, just use this code here. And I'm going to copy this code. And this is how it looks on a blog post. And this is just a demo site. Here's some text. If I click it, I see the pop-up. If I click the image, I see a pop-up. And if I click a button, I see a pop-up. This is how it looks in the editor. This is the WordPress editor. And let's create a new one, a new post. I'll put in an image. Now I will write something. And now to put in the pop ups, just go to text. Remember that code we copied? Just paste it in. Here's the pop-up. I'll cut this out and I'll put it in the place of this. Click here to show pop-up. Now I'm going to do the same thing with, with the image. This is the code for the image. Paste the code I just copied from here. Cut out the image code and put it in here. Now I'm going to take the code for the button pop-up right here and paste it in here. And there we go. Now all we need to do is click Publish. And there we go. We can view the post here or use the permalink. And here's everything. Pop-up. Pop-up and pop up. Now this button will depend on the styling you have on your blog. So you'll need to change your blog styling if you want to change the color of this button. Now let's go back to edit post. And this is fine. So a little um, funky thing I've seen from time to time when using WordPress is when I go back to the visual editor and back to the text editor, all the things I put in they disappeared. Well, don't worry about that. Just don't click update if this happens and you'll be fine. Try re refreshing the page and you'll see the stylings back again. Just remember not to go back and forth and clicking update. You need to refresh the page so that the styling is there. Otherwise, it will disappear and you'll have to do it again. It's a little WordPress glitch I notice. That's all for this. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.